Mark Huntington, I'm a partner at DLA Piper in the Finance and Projects Group in hey. Melbourne. Well, there are many and varied. Uh, I think, for a start, the competition for time is just um, inexorable. The, the, the demands on time, I think the demands on being the best lawyer you can be, coping with the client demands, um, and they can be many and varied. But I think the competition for time, if you're also wanting to be the perfect father, the perfect husband, um, perfect in all of the areas of your life, then I think you devote a lot of energy to that, and that, that energy can be very taxing over a period of time. So for me, um, I have very acute, um, well, for me, the, the circumstances regarding my breakdown in 2004, I was a partner in the firm, team leader of 30 people, uh, on the board, national board, uh, and I had a breakdown that I didn't see coming. And I think looking back, you realise that, uh, and I was profoundly depressed for over three years. I couldn't work until I got the right treatment. Um, and I look back at this, of course, we're all wise in hindsight, but there, there was just not the balance there. Um, and I think really, if you look at just the basics, my wife's a general practitioner, lacking in sunshine, lacking in sleep, lacking in uh, general fitness, uh, not eating properly, um, and just obsessing about all the things in life. And I think for me, that's when I first realised that the practice of law is not getting any easier, the demands in the other realms of your life are also increasing, and uh, I think fortunately I've changed, I hope for the better, since then. Well, I think um, the first thing I would say is that there needs to be a genuine dialogue with staff and also partner to partner where that's appropriate. Um, a friend of mine in another firm once said that a partner came in and said to him, uh, how are your family going? Not too much detail. Now, I question whether that person was really genuinely listening or interested in what the answer would be. So I think that the active listening is a key part of that, knowing um, there will be stresses obviously in the workplace, uh, that you have a role in moderating that, that you understand the rhythms and the patterns of which your uh, staff best work. And I think a role is to provide boundaries where appropriate. So that there's not this expectation that the hours will simply be performed uh, ad infinitum, uh, but that there is a genuine commitment that enough could be enough and to make sure that you actively manage leave throughout the year as well. Um, and what do you think is the key to being a lawyer and being a human too? Well, I think that there are so many aspects of that, but I can boil it down to generosity and compassion. Uh, when I was on the board in 2004 and speaking to the newly inducted partners at that time, I talked to them about this notion of generosity. Now, I think there's a lot of lawyers who perhaps take that a bit far and apply it to themselves. Um, but what I'm talking about is the way in which people who are in a team, a genuine team, are thanked because the workplace is only functional with every person uh, that comes to make up the provision of the legal service that's offered. Um, so I think compassion also kicks in where there are people who are genuinely suffering. If you're listening, um, you're listening as a lawyer and as a human being because you genuinely care about those people. Um, and so, going back again to when I was t leading the team of 30 people, it wasn't homogenous. People were different, and I sought wherever I could to understand that component that is non loyally but the human part. So, when I asked the question about how someone's family is, I'd like to think I'm genuinely interested in the answer.